emulsifier that is mainly used in uh, in this experiment is lecithin. Lecithin is the fat that is essential in our body. We can also found uh, lecithin in soil, but for the kitchen we only use yolk because yolk contains natural emulsifier. For example, we can make mayonnaise, which is uh, the ingredient is eggs and some acidic. We can combine together and mix until it becomes a mayonnaise because mayonnaise has a natural emulsifier. So as you can see from the video that you can see two samples that we took from the cake batter. One is on the left lighter in color and one on the right is dark in color. So from the video, we had two results. One, from the lighter batter, we found that the cake was very dense, and very soft. Everything was um, basically settled down and very, 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 um, how to say, has a custard texture. Compared to the other darker um, batter, which has a lighter and more volume type of cake, which is as you have in a typical cake. The one that was lighter in color contained 168 milliliters of water and the one darker in eggs uh, in the batter contains eggs. So the main factor, the reason why the egg puffed up and maintained its texture compared to the other one is emotion. This is the phospholipid structure. It is made up of the hydrophilic head and the hydrophobic tails. So the hydrophilic head has a choline, a phosphate group and a glycerol. This choline is ionized, positively charged, so that it repels other phospholipids. And these hydrophobic tails are made up of two fatty acids. So these are non-polar, which, which attract lipids and repel water. So, emulsifiers usually appear in two different states, solid state and also liquid state. So, solid state for example, we can see it from soy lecithin powder. But in liquid state, we can usually find emulsifier which is lecithin that contain in egg yolk. There are two different kinds of emulsions. One is oil in water emulsion, where oil is the dispersed phase and water is the dispersion medium. Second, it's water in oil emulsion where water is in the dispersed phase and oil is in dispersion medium. For the phospholipid, there is no physical or chemical changes. This is because the phospholipid acts as an emulsifier. So here you can see that fat droplets in water is binded by the phospholipids. The phospholipids attach itself to the fat molecules through their hydrophobic tails and they also attach themselves to the water through their hydrophilic heads. This uh, binds the fat into the water solution as a dispersed phase and it also prevents the fat molecules from joining back to each other. <laughs>